then we have a, a technique applying a yoko energy. You see the person is completely blocked and you have a pressure over the left arm and the imbalance cause on the right arm that was the main attack tool. And by doing it, you affect the hara and the hip. Yeah, so this is the kuzushi. And then you change the angle of the hara. It means that the, the hara of the uke was brought from up to down in a technique. Okay, that's the, when you change the level of the hara. And by doing it, you triangle the wrist, shoulder and elbow. And it's easy once, as we commented before, to manipulate the other arm. When you bring the left arm of the uke parallel to the ground, it's really painful, please be careful, because we do not uh, have much uh, limit for the joint on that angle. So as further as you bring and as down as you, you bring this, this arm in a straight position, Easily, you just locate the shoulder and you could fracture also the arm, depending on what you do. Then you reposition the arm, again you step over the arm, and as further as you bring also the forearm, you have a huge pressure on the elbow okay, and shoulder, the worst. Next technique, Suki was blocked and reverted. So here we have from a Tsuki a kind of Udde Osai. Remember please that Osai is control. So we have the control of the arm with the pressure over the elbow, depending on what you do you again you can fracture it and then you pressure the wrist and this is also a fracture. When you position the triangle with a support, it means that you are repositioning the structures that was already fractured before. So the right arm goes in a B position on the neck, keeping the pressure again on the wrist. Next one we have a beautiful Kuzushi glide. You can also please check the position of the back and the hip. Okay, the arms will be completely crossed and that's the, the technique that we are going to apply. We're going to force it against the elbow. So we have the wrist control and we have the forearm of the right arm pressing the left elbow in a non-natural position that will cause fracture. So you just keep the structure and then you reposition the arm. Let's check that when you do that, you be uh, putting the elbow against the forearm. Otherwise, there is no pressure. And you're using your leg as a lever to apply that fracture. When you put the uke in a good super position, you will be unable to get out of it due to the fractures that you applied before. Okay, the next technique. We have a very famous technique. And you bring in the person down. I mean, in Bugay, when you do that technique, actually, we have a whole class, Tukubetsu, about it. It means that you bring in the person violently down for him to impact the head against the ground. So we have your injuries on the head, not only on the arm that you're controlling, okay, from uh, Yamaurosh, depending on the angle. And then you control the arm. 
and you cross the wrists that's also by pressure over the elbow by bringing the structure in a lateral way and you step where you knees down over the arm everything is possible due to the kuzushi okay, or the correct application of the harage next one we have also a very easy to identify kuzushi because you see the complete arc on the back till a way that the person will not be able to uh, be in a stand-up position anymore and that is when you force down and you reposition the arms here when you do it violently you see you have a fracture uh, on the right arm the left arm will also be under a, a lock so depending on what you do it's easily to fracture and you support this arm by uh, implementing the injury of the fracture that you've caused before the hara will be blocked there's no way for him to get out of this position so you can just easily finish the technique Again, we are here with the hara up. That's the same thing that we said before about the hara gate. The energy is coming back. Then we have an ushiro catch, and we bring up and twist our hara so our hara will be towards the uke but the hara of the uke will be lightly diagonal because of the kuzushi that was applied and also because of the arm positioning so when you cross again we are here forcing it against the elbow that causes fracture and by bringing the person down here really careful that uh, in a real situation will be to with the intention to impact the head against the ground so we have two important injuries one that avoid him to react or catch any secondary weapon the other actually for him for him to be able to understand even what is happening due to the impact on the head and we have a pressure over the cervical again that's, those are dangerous mm -hmm. please be careful So here we have another situation where the Makochi already reached 45 degrees and you are not able to block in the upper position anymore. But you revert the technique by controlling the arm and doing a Kote Hineri or Ute Hineri depending on the place that you catch and change your position. In this way the person comes down with a lot of fractures already on the wrist and arm and by controlling the same triangle that we did before it's easy actually to control the whole body and the uke will be unable to apply any kind of reaction or catch any kind of secondary weapon we are dealing here with a mobilization over fractured arm that will increase the pain When you sit down, you pull the other arm, the left arm. Also, you are working here with the shoulder joint. Later, it will be easy for you to control the whole body. And we have here again the hara is up. It means the energy that was blocked is coming down to the hara again and you step over the arm especially over the armpit also uh, when you do that position your foot you have on the way the throat you're applying pressure on the neck 